Hello! My name is Abe and welcome back to Slay the Spire. It's been a while since we've played, but I've been on a a bit of a of a kick lately on s more slower paced games, anything slower than Dead Cells anyways, you know, like Into the Breach, a little bit of Slay the Spire, turn-based, tactical. Why don't we give it a shot here? We are on, uh, I've been playing a little bit of Slay the Spire on my own. I played one run of all the characters over the past few days, and right now I am, I think, going to jump into like Ascension level five as all the characters, and then after that, you know, if I wanna keep playing, we'll go to like level 10, level 15, level 20 Ascension, and we'll try to get some more victories, but for now, this is kind of just like a fun run. You know, I've, I've already beaten Spire on Ascension 20 as all the characters. It's all up on YouTube in a convenient playlist, but uh, I kind of want to just play the game on my own, in my own way. So we're on Ascension 5. Elites spawn more often. Normal enemies are deadlier. Elites are deadlier. Bosses are deadlier. And you heal less after boss battles. Disposable account in chat says try to kill don Donut with a feed. You know, that is one achievement that I don't have yet. <laughs> that is true. I have not killed Donut with a feed. I think I've done everything else, including the speed challenge, so we don't need to worry about speed. But I will obtain a curse for a random rare, rare relic. It is Tori, which is just absurdly good. Normality is really not that bad of a uh, curse, and in fact, we could just leave it in the deck and just kind of ignore it, which is probably what I'm gonna do. And uh, I kind of like this path. Maybe we can fight multiple elites, three. If we go left path, we can fight two. If we go this path, we can fight the burning elite, but then we have to fight another elite afterwards, which is a little bit scary. I think I'd rather just go this path over here. I could also go to the, I'll do it like this. I could also go to the shop and remove the curse, but I don't think normality is actually that bad, especially right now. I, I don't, I can only play three cards per turn, so normality is kind of useless. It's not hindering us, it's not doing anything. Until we add cards, of course. <clears throat> Excuse me, allergies are still a bit of a problem for me, I apologize. We'll take a true grit though. That is a good, upgradable skill block to have early. You know what? Three strikes can kill you next turn. We got rid of a defend. You know, I would have liked to have gotten rid of the defend or the normality, either one. Can't kill you on this turn. <clears throat> but if we get three strikes, you're dead. So I'm gonna play two, you know what? We should have played one block because of uh, Burning Blood. There's no reason to play um, where there's no reason to uh, perfectly block on that one turn. Twin Strike Flex Anger. Twin Strike is not a bad attack to add in early. It synergizes with anything that is related to strikes. You know, there's a, a relic that makes strikes do more damage. Um, Perfected Strike is good. This does more damage than a strike. It's good to upgrade. It works well with strength. I like Twin Strike early just for a little bit of damage. A relic for a curse. Just give me the five HP. I don't want to take another curse this early, I don't think. 12 damage. I'd rather not get hit for 12. We can slow play it very slightly. And 14 damage on a vulnerability with that twin strike is kind of nice. I think if you upgrade it, it'll do 20 total. It'll do 10 times two. So we'll, uh, we'll work on getting that done. But I don't think we're gonna be able to upgrade anything before the first elite fight. Dark Embrace, whenever a card is exhausted, draw one card. Very good for countering the uh, dazes. But otherwise, it's a little too expensive to play. And are we really gonna play it just specifically to counter like one or two enemies? It'll counter the chosen. It'll counter the elites. It's uh, Diamond Man. Uh, I don't really want any of these other cards though, and I think it's too early to go into an exhaust synergy because we have no exhaust synergy. So we'll just head on this way and go and fight the first elite. Well, I don't want to take too much damage. We'll try to kill the louse that's buffing its strength on this turn. 
And don't don't forget about Tori too, because that can uh, can really save our butts. Damn it! If I can upgrade True Grit, we could definitely stop getting the uh, the normality in our deck. But uh, you know, the exhaustion hasn't been working so well. Armaments evolve flex. Now I do like evolve because it does counter the. Obelisk Elites and the Chosen, and also every other status enemy in the game, not just on exhaustion from dazes. So I think Evolve is actually a very good choice, because if we fight the Obelisks, we didn't, but if we did, we would love to have Evolve. But uh, Evolve and Feel No Pain are the ones that I, I truly love myself. So next turn, we're gonna have one strike and a true grit. Dude, I don't know. Um, you know, uh, I think we probably just wake you up on this turn. This is not a very good turn. Also, what's not good, have no freaking potions. Would have thought we would have gotten some more potions by now, but that's okay. We're gonna bash you next turn. I think we gotta go all in. We need to make sure that you die quickly. We can't even kill you next turn, so we're gonna take another 20. Well, not quite. But we can kill you... We can't even kill you on this turn, I don't think. This is gonna be a, a awkward as hell fight. Seven, five... Okay, give me a defend, strike, true grit. <clears throat> You're dead next turn to any attack. This was not a very good elite fight, but you you want you want to have potions for this guy, and you want oh we'll just take this. You want to have potions. You want to have some sort of additional offense, upgraded cards. We had nothing, and we're not going to go fight two elites. We're going to at least go here and see if we can rest first. I will remove normality. I will kill two fungi beasts. Hmm. not amazing. We'll probably use the potion next turn because they're gonna do 20 damage. Yeah, five damage twice. I mean, I can't even really block enough. Let's see what we get. The bomb. Or mind blast that does four damage or forethought which can allow, allow us to play demon form for, for three. For free, rather. Well, not that good. <laughs> twin strike. A twin strike plus a mind blast actually does get a kill here, so I'm like, okay. Let's play that. We only take two damage, which is actually only one because of Tori. I got the uh, the relic confused for a second there. And we do have four plated armor, which is something. Uh, we need to add more cards, so I will add a Pommel Strike. I don't like Pommel Strike. Pantograph is, a, is lovely, though. And in fact, now that we have Pantograph, I think I'm just gonna upgrade. We have to get some upgrades done. Like, we need cards. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Flame says, I still don't understand Evolve. Evolve is such a good card. Because if you get a burn, if you get a wound, if you get a daze, you draw through it. So you, the Chosen fight, for instance, um, the Obelisks, they add dazes to your, your deck. Evolve just makes the dazes pointless. For one energy, you completely neuter the, the difficult part of a, of a fight. It's fantastic. Um, I, I I hate this, but if we do it like this, we take one damage. We gotta kill the cultist, but we also gotta work on the slime. So it's 14, 6. I can do 6 damage to you. You know, if we pop the potion, we only take one damage and I can spend the rest of the turn on attacks. So we'll do it like this. We'll lose one plated armor, but we only take one damage on that turn. Now we could play demon form. And take seven. Next turn, he's gonna be doing 14 damage. So it's either block I'm just gonna play demon form. I 
think that probably saves us more. Ugh, man. 13 damage twice, it's not enough. You know what, I'm just gonna simplify my life and just basically kill myself to kill you. <laughs> I will take a perfected strike though. I need some heavy hitting damage. And at the very least, we do kind of counter these guys. Demon form I don't think is what we want though, it's too slow. But we do have a way of countering these guys with the evolve, but we have to live to that point, which is not really uh, happening because we're almost dead. I should have just struck you, it would have saved more damage. That's my bad, that's my mistake. So we have to do this, otherwise we die. No, we'll only take one damage. So, I see you. If we get, as long as we draw one defend, we, we live. So, we live. We'll take another one damage. <laughs> this is not good, this is not good at all. But on the bright side, that's a good turn next turn. On the bright side, I think we're gonna live through the obelisks or sentries. Honestly, I don't even wanna risk getting rid of a defend in the deck. Okay. And this is the power of Evolve. It's making sure that we can draw five cards every turn. Playable cards, rather. Peace Pipe is not that good. I will take another True Grit. We need to upgrade it, but I'll keep it for now. Um, question mark could be combat or a heal. Shop could allow us to remove a strike, upgrade a card. Buy a good relic. Go to the shop. I like a lot of this. I like Kunai, I like Preserved Insect, I like Mayhem. Mayhem is fun. <laughs> Peace Pipe isn't good. Peace Pipe isn't good because um, it takes too long to remove cards. I'd rather upgrade than remove something. I think I'll take a Mayhem. There's no, uh, no healing potion, unfortunately. I think I'll remove a Strike. Uh, this is the bad slaver, and we're not, are we dead? Are we dead? I don't think we're dead. We're pretty damn close. I think we have to take the energy potion, because five block doesn't keep us alive. So we have to draw. We, so we are, we actually, we, we are dead. Okay, well, you know what, that's fair. <laughs> I did go very hard on the, uh, on the, the path we took, but I think we got a little bit unlucky. But that's fine. Let's just take enemies in the next uh, three combats of one HP. It's easy. And if we go this route, we can fight one elite. I'd rather fight more than one. Although if we go this path, we can fight two. So let's go this path, see if we can fight two. Warm up equals done. Yeah, exactly, it's just a warm up run. I'll take a battle trance. Have we already lost our ability to, um, take an iron wave? Yeah, we've already lost our ability to get the free elite, but that's okay. I'll take the gold. Early gold is nice. I'll take an entropic brew. Hey, honestly, just having a potion is good, because now that we have a potion, I have an ability to like fight an elite and uh, you know actually have like a good chance at winning the, the combat without it taking four turns against Lagavulin and the fact that we can upgrade a card is also pretty dope. So I mean already I think we're in a bit of a, a bit of a better spot than we were last time just because it was such a pain on that Lagavulin fight that you know it kind of screwed us for the rest of the floor. Probably misplayed it honestly could have Probably kill the Lagavulin slightly faster. Uh, let us battle trance. I will use Entropic Brew. We have another Entropic Brew, that's amazing. Berserk, Metallicize Brutality. Probably just take a free Metallicize. Take the Energy Potion, take another Entropic Brew. Upgrade all cards. 
play the top three cards. We'll save Distilled Chaos, but give me the upgrades. Then let's see. Seven block. It's pretty good. I mean, that's actually ten blocks, so let's see if we can't kill one of you. That's pretty good. The Tropic Brew's all the way down. I mean, the one potion has given us such an amazing advantage. It's unbelievable. That's all I wanted, is just like one potion. This is, I think, the elite that you want to fight first, pretty much. Can I kill you? No. So let's put up a little bit of block. Even the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, even the uh, Gremlin Knob, you would think that the Ironclad is good against the Gremlin nod, Knob, but if you don't have any upgraded cards, your, your strikes and even your bash are not good enough to kill him fast enough. Anyways, that was a, a lovely fight. We got a regen potion out of it. Spot weakness, wild strike, pommel strike. I, I don't care for pommel strike. Yes, you can draw, but the damage is mediocre and the draw is like non-upgraded. It replaces itself with mediocre damage. It's not that amazing of a card. I'd rather have something like even a spot weakness for a little bit of strength gain because it'll benefit all of your future attacks instead of just the one. Having one, you know, strength gain card in the deck is perfectly fine. Uh, we'll go for it, it doesn't matter who. Pommel Strike is part of a really good infinite though. Well, yeah, literally, yes. Anything that gives you draw could be used for an infinite deck, sure. You got me. <laughs> but I still don't appreciate the card. I would much rather have a Shrug because uh, you're going to want to replace your defense anyways. Should spot weakness. Because the basic defends are just not good enough. Unless you upgrade them, they're a little bit better, but... True Grit. At least for... Um, at least for, for strikes, for, uh, you know, instead of a pommel strike, I'd rather have a better attack added to the deck. So we could shovel for relics, which is pretty good. It's actually quite nice. Um, we would like to upgrade cards, though. Would relics be better than cards? I, I'm of the opinion that cards are probably better than relics, but instead of fighting elites, we can just go to a lot of campfires now, so. I'll take it, we'll give it a shot. Dump a strike. And let's dig. And take Art of War, oh, oh yay, Art of War, fantastic. We're gonna bash ya. Wake up. Excuse me. Um, let's gain strength. Because we've gained strength, we can slow play it slightly. We'll play True Grit. Abezilla says Shovel is one of my favorite relics. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of Shovel or Peace Pipe because I would much rather rest or upgrade cards for the most part. You know. Getting a clothesline next turn is fine. We can spot weakness, clothesline, and then distilled chaos. Let's do it. Well, still, we only take five. All right, good enough. Wing boots, uh, they're okay. Uh, do we want another true grit or iron wave? I mean, honestly, an iron wave is not that bad. We could go fight another elite, and I think we should. I think the first Elite was handled pretty decently. We'll probably just use the uh, Weakness Potion on you and save the regen. 
Yeah, we didn't get um, what we wanted. At least we did get a block in the form of Iron Wave. Help us out a little bit there. And we definitely have you next turn. I don't have you, but I... S we don't need... We don't need to play spot weakness. Two attacks will kill you. Even these two. So we didn't take that much damage. And we got Tori again. All right, it's the same run we had previously. Impervious Intimidate Uppercut. We have added uh, two, well, we've added a few blocks if you count the Iron Waves, but I do think you want an Uppercut here. And I guess we'll just keep digging. Meat on the Bone, very handy for the next floor. We have 92 max HP, how the heck did that happen? I guess strawberry and something else that I wasn't paying attention to. There we go. Thank you, Tori. Probably would rather weaken you on this turn. Duh. I will probably be upgrading cards at some point though. Like we we do still need upgrades. We can't just rely on on relics to carry us. We need to get like, you know, double status effects out of uppercut and whatnot. Like we're gonna need more better cards. But for now, this is going very well. We have eight strength already. Haven't been paying any attention to the fact that we've been even playing spot weakness, but it's been paying for itself easily. So that was a pretty easy fight. We got Distilled Chaos as our potion. I mean, I would love to take a Snekawai here. Do we want Bludgeon or Impervious? I think we want Impervious here. We need one big block. Calling Bell, Curse and three Relics. Whenever you lose HP, draw a card or Black Star. Well, you know what? We could go Black Star and go heavy into the Elite. Um, but we have the shovel, which means we don't really want to fight elites because we can just dig for relics. So maybe we'll just go Calling Bell and we'll get a curse. Pretty bad selection of boss relics, though. But we get Potion Belt, Blue Candle, and Ginger. Sure. We can no longer become weakened. Weakened. And let's just try to remember, we don't actually care to fight elites because if we rest, we can skip the rest and then get a, uh, a relic that way. But we could always fight an occasional elite if we think we can. Uh, so spot weakness, uppercut. We'll only take two damage because of Tori. Blue candle to exhaust calling bell curse. It doesn't actually work that way because if you play Curse, well, hold on. I guess this is different from ne Necronomic Curse. This doesn't come back, Necronomic Curse does. So if I play this for one HP, it'll be gone forever. Let's see, that is how it works, okay. Still, Necronomic Curse is probably the better curse because it does come back, strangely enough. We can block. Take one damage. Now you're doing 23, huh? It's kind of rude. 10 plus 15, it's not enough to kill you, but you know what? Oh, right, we can only play one defend. I thought I had the energy to play two, but we would have only saved five. Not a great fight against the Chosen. Limit break, you know, if, if we have one spot weakness, maybe we can take another card to, uh, to buff our strength once we get a lot of strength. Tiny chest, Lee's waffle. Shrug is very good. Um, tiny chest, every fourth question mark room is a treasure. I mean, it'll give us a random relic in the future and then probably another relic on the next floor, but like Lee's waffle is pretty good. We'd have 99 HP. Uh, maybe I'd rather just remove a card and then buy a, a Shrug It Off. Yeah, sure. Sorry, Tiny Chest and Lee's Waffle. 
We could buy some relic, uh, some uh, potions rather. But uh, you know, we've got a few potions. I don't think we need to buy one. Uh, we could buy a headbutt. I think we're good to move on though. I guess if we wanted to, we could flip to this question mark. But we should fight one. Oh yes, we should fight one enemy in the future. In Caridian. we get a free power on turn one. That's not too bad. Let's save our winged boots for the future. Let's just do a fight. Now, you guys are highly annoying. Honestly, give me chaos. Uppercut, defend, defend. You know? Probably saved us like 15 damage. We have extra energy on this turn because of Art of War. There you go. We'll try to remember that we even have Art of War, but I'm, you know, no guarantees. Got another Distilled Chaos. Power Through and Shrug It Off. I love Power Through. It is a fantastic block card. If you get Evolve, Power Through is 20 block upgraded, which is amazing, and it's basically free. But because we don't have that, I'm just gonna go for a Shrug It Off. It's already upgraded too and then we'll go to a camp, and I mean, we we probably should start upgrading cards. Like, we can get a few good upgrades, like Uppercut, True Grit. We will get more relics in the future, but like, I need to upgrade cards. I guess we could hit up this campfire and then fight one elite. And then maybe fight a second elite? Let's do it, why not? Give me a, give me a, give me a, a dig. Smiling mask, oh yay, that's exactly what I want now. Uh, sure, let's fight you. It's a gremlin leader. I hate that you're attacking on turn one. I also hate that you have your friend with you. Give me a, give me a distilled chaos. Limit break, impervious defend. Dude, honestly, that was a fantastic selection of, of cards for chaos. Should have played that for one. We got pretty good value out of the impervious because we uh, needed to avoid the damage. We'll, s we'll slowly build our strength. Leader is hopefully not gonna live for too much longer, but you never know. This kills one of you. 12 damage. Yeah, we'll do it like this and get rid of that uh, Curse of the Tower, or Curse of the Bell. We also can't become weakened, so the fat gremlin is really not a big problem to let him live. Yeah, Rupture also does mean that we get one extra strength from, uh, from Curse of the Tower too, or Curse of the Bell. Why do I keep calling it Curse of the Tower? This ain't Isaac. Isaac? You are already weak, huh? Well, block five. We're gonna take a bunch though, as expected. Well, the strikes will probably get you next turn. That was not that bad. We probably don't need to rest. We'll keep digging for, uh, for more relics in the future. We also still have one more winged boots active. We'll definitely go for the plus one strength because it, we're kind of building around strength, I guess. I'd like to upgrade True Grit. So I'm going to upgrade True Grit because now I can, dis I can choose what card to get rid of. Book of Stabbing. Not amazing, but I think we will play, we should probably play Brutality. We only lose one HP. To get a free card out of it, that's kind of nice. 21 damage, Iron Wave. We're gonna take plenty of damage, but he's not gonna live for too much longer. Should have played the Curse of the Tower, my bad. 
doing 15 damage. I would... Oh, we're also on meat on the bone level, too, so we will be able to auto-heal after the fight. I would love to... We have Tori, so a True Grit and an Iron Wave are the same amount of block. Eighteen damage. Give me a draw. Give me an a battle trance. Give me an iron wave. Now we're only taking one damage. We could take zero, or we could kill him. Kunai. Kunai's pretty good. Um, honestly, I, I think another spot weakness is okay if we're gonna be building around the uh, the strength. Let's build around the strength. Heal? Yeah, give me a heal. Let's go for the question mark. I don't wanna... I don't wanna go to a shop right now. We don't have enough gold. I'll pay for a relic. We get letter opener. We got a lot of, like, mediocre relics. <laughs> we got a couple of good ones, like Tori and Meat on the Bone. But we also have a lot of relics that are like, eh. Like, I see them, but I don't see them. Anyways, uh, Tori should keep us mostly safe here. If we play an Iron Wave and an Iron Wave, we'll have 10 block, we're taking 18 damage. Uh, we'll take seven, I think. Honestly, just give me one of these. Now we'll only take one. Bash or Clothesline? Probably a... Probably a bash, because we're going to get an uppercut pretty soon. Need an evolve in this deck. That's the only thing that I would like to add in, I think. Play this. It's going to add a daze, I think. Yeah, but I, I, it's probably still worth getting out there. Taking 22 damage. There you go, there's five. And you know what? We also have Art of War. We'll get extra energy, although we're gonna have lots of dazes, so that's not really gonna work out that well. At least I can kill you. And only take 10 damage on this turn. You know what? We got that free barricade, let's use it. Like, you might as well play your defense. It saves you from the turn when he's gonna hit you for like... 40 damage. Havoc, Burning Pact, Armaments. Havoc is interesting, but I don't want to exhaust everything in my deck. I think we're just gonna skip that. Do we need to smith anything? Limit Break would be a good smith target, but I think I'd still rather dig. Ceramic fish. Oh boy, yay. See, this is what happens whenever I use the shovel. We just get garbage. <laughs> Feel the pain's pretty good. Like, it's just garbage. At least we did get one dex up on that turn. Spot weakness. Limit break. Give me a iron wave. Let's see what you guys steal. Stole Spot Weakness, which is fine. You're gonna steal True Grit, which is actually a card that I would like back. It's a good one. We'll need to punch through this guy's protection too at some point. His artifacts. Dealing 24 damage. I'd rather take none. Let's get rid of the uh, the base defend. Would have liked to have gotten rid of a strike, probably. Okay, one more strike kills you. We're gonna live through Hyper Beam because he only does like 50 damage. You know, I was thinking maybe I should like just kill the orb, but no, we should we should put up as much block as we can. The impervious is a good call. <laughs> so we're gonna get another spot weakness. At least purge one of his negatives. 
32 damage. Honestly, the um, Feel No Pain is something I would just like to add to the deck. Then that uh, exhaust will be worth a little bit more block. Well, I hate this. But again, at least we do get a decent amount of block out of that. We're only taking nine. We are about... Dude, we keep getting spot weakness on the wrong turns. But we are about to hit another... Hyper Beam. We have to weaken him or put up 66 block. Well, we do have a weaken, but I don't know if that'll be enough. Reduce his damage by 25. So we'll reduce his damage by like 15. And we have 13 block. We have 45 damage. So we are dead. And honestly, I, I we had so many garbage relics by the end there that we were digging up, like Smiling Mask, Ginger's pretty garbage, we got a pretty bad boss relic, Ceramic Fish is pointless. Really should have just gone for the upgrades. It happens every time I try to use the, um, the shovel or the peace pipe. There's just not enough time to do everything, and I would prefer to just have an upgraded deck. But you know what? It happens. Maybe this time, though, if we get that opportunity, we'll just be like, hey, you know what? Let's not take Peace Pipe or the Shovel and waste every single campfire. Let's just upgrade our cards. <laughs> All right. Early Immolate. Very useful card to have. What are we going to do? Honestly, I've got a path in mind. We're gonna beeline this. I like it, I like it. Armaments Clothesline War Cry. You know, an early Armaments is pretty okay. We would like to upgrade some cards and we can add in one of these probably. I'm not a big fan of Armaments, but I think in this situation it might be okay. And you know what? If we take 175 gold, we could remove it at the shop, but it makes all other card removals more expensive, so it probably costs about 175 gold in the long run, so I'm kind of just going to ignore it. Now we could upgrade armaments to upgrade all cards, but I would prefer by the end of the game to have a fully upgraded deck anyway, so I don't think we need to upgrade that. I went the wrong direction, but you know what? Hey, this just means I have an opportunity to, to buy a card here or card removal. Let's get a tr I did not add clothesline. We could get blind, true grit, or true grit removal, or we could just get like a power potion to help with future fights. Combust is also good against uh, the obelisks, but I think we'll get a true grit, purge a strike. If we can thin out the deck, maybe we can just have a deck that's full of uh, immolates. Medkit? I don't think that was Medkit, was it? That was, um, maybe it was Medkit. Uh, it was either Medkit or it was the um, one that gives you a, the, the toolbox. It gives you a random colorless card at the beginning of combat, which is kind of trash. Uh, I will armaments to upgrade a strike. You're probably gonna hit me one more time. Yeah, you're gonna hit me one more time. It was Medkit, well, whatever. I don't really care about medkit because we're gonna purge the. Uh, oh, sure, can. We're gonna purge the um, burns via true grit in all likelihood, anyways. So thunderclap immolate is kind of my combo. We don't need any of this. I think I would like to fight the burning elite. Oh, good! It's shovel. Fantastic. Well, you know what? We could skip the burning elite. We don't need to fight him anymore. But if it's the obelisks, it's just immolate is such a good kill against them. I'm, you know, F it. Let's get this out of the way. It's actually Lagavulin with plated armor, which is kind of bad. But you know what? At least we did get our turn one. We 
I'm gonna... You should just put up the defense. Take one damage. Wait for Immolate to shuffle around. And if we get lucky, we'll also get Thunder Immolate, which did not happen. But you know what? We can at least bash you. You'll take 42 damage from the Immolate, which means you're not quite dead, but you're close. It's actually not 42. It's now 36. Um... Well, I hope I can kill you next turn, because if we don't, we'll be dying again. <laughs> oh god, exact lethal, there we go. I'm gonna take a bludgeon. I want as many heavy hitting attacks as possible in this deck. Regen potion, thank you. We'll take a shrug it off. Um, let's leave. <laughs> we got meal ticket. Which is okay, meal ticket's not that bad. Let's uh, upgrade two cards. It upgraded two strikes. Not what we wanted, but that's okay. And honestly, we're gonna be fighting the elite here. This might, might sound like a dumb idea. It's actually like the best idea ever because we're going to kick the crap out of these elites. It's not even gonna be a joke. Well, it is a joke. To joke how easy they're gonna die. Just need immolate. There we go. So immolate. Well, yeah, immolate. Liquid memory. Bring back an immolate. Immolate. They're dead. Regal pillow. Also very good to have. And let's not take the iron wave. I will rest just to make sure we don't die. Maybe for, one, for once we'll actually get to Act 2 and be able to live for a couple of turns. Uh, 42 damage. Are we, are we okay hitting you on this turn? I think we are. As soon as Immolate comes back around, the slimes will die, so... We're gonna take 18 damage, though, but that's why we rested. Okay, we're actually gonna take 30 damage, so... Kind of scary. If I could stop drawing all of my uh, attacks when I would like love to have a single block, that would be great. Okay, we're gonna stall again. There we go, thank you. <laughs> Good God, 29 damage. They have 16. There's a lot of garbage coming up, so let's see if we can draw through it. I don't even, I don't know if we can survive here because I don't think I can put up enough block to, uh, to keep myself alive. You're doing 20 damage. I can put up an extra 9 block. We have to play this to live. And it might not even be enough, but I hope it is. We'll have 1 HP. Come on. If we don't draw Immolate, we might just straight up die. <laughs> Should have attacked you on the previous turn, huh? Good God, I remember now why I uh, stopped playing Slay the Spire. <laughs> Is it me? Am, am I in the wrong? It's probably me. Just a rare card to obtain. Hey, look at that, it's Feed, let's take this one. Maybe this is the one we need. Hey, uh, if we just throw enough runs at the wall, eventually something will stick, right? I, I can definitely tell though that it's been a while since I've played Spire Ascension. You know, I've gotta remember how this game is actually supposed to be played. I gotta remember what my previous strategies were that worked on early floors and whatnot. Ooh, I don't love it, but... But we'll take it. Give me six max HP. I need to get better cards, but upgrading the cards that we have is also acceptable. Ceramic fish. Oh my god. Why did... They added in a bunch of relics on, like, the 2.0 update. A lot of content. They added in a lot of garbage filler content, like ceramic fish and whatnot. It's just trash. It's absolute trash. Mm -hmm. 
Bum, 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 bum. Ah! Mighty Odin. Thank you for the sub. For the resub. The resub. What are we gonna do here? I can't kill any of you, so I guess we'll just take nine damage. No, let's take slightly less. Let's take six. Ceramic fish is broken, it shows up way too often. The problem with ceramic fish is that it's just not meaningful in any particular way. You get slightly more gold and it's good early and if you get it late, it's complete trash. It's just like, it's, com it's garbage is what it is. It's one of those types of potions where it's like, why, why is this good? It's not okay, that's right, I remember. Should we double up on Bash or Metallicize? Ah! Kaka. Um. Uh, doubling up on the Metallicize is okay, but doubling up on the Bash will wake you up on this turn. You know, I got an idea. Here's my idea. There we go, now I got 12 Metallicize. You got Metallicize, I got Metallicize. You got metallicized, I got metallicized. Now, honey. This will be the slowest Lagavulin fight, but hopefully the one in which we take the least amount of damage. I'm gonna feed on your ass, too. Don't think you're getting away from me without getting fed on. I will take one damage. It's gonna be a bit of a slow fight, but I expect it, I anticipate it. I I believe we can get him. 12, get fed. Give me a bludgeon, a single heavy hitting attack. It's pretty good. Heal for 22 or remove a card. Give me a heal, then we'll go fight this elite. It's a pretty good turn one draw. 18 damage is pretty bad. I I actually like the Log of Vulin that, um, that uh, does the bash on turn one because I feel like you take less damage on that version of him. On this version of the Log of Vulin, you know, you gotta weather one of his hits, or two of his hits early, I, I suppose. Draw three cards the first time you lose HP in combat. I like Centennial Puzzle. Let's take it. Let's also upgrade the probably bludgeon. We'll hit up this shop. We'll do one combat. All right. Also, I really like Rage as a card. I think Rage is fantastic. That's why you upgrade the bludgeon. Give me a metallicize. I'm not even gonna draw, because I really don't want to draw through my deck in case we draw bludgeon. There we go. And there's our rage, so we, we can just attack on this turn. Why don't we weaken him so that maybe we can get a feed kill? Oh, you're not, I'm not gonna do it though. Screw you, I'm gonna feed on your ass. I got no problem waiting. I will wait, I will continue to wait and let bludgeon cycle through the deck even more. Nah, you're not, you're not getting killed. Nope, not gonna do it. Nope. I mean, at this point, we might as well just wait. We're, we're already this deep in this mess. There you go. Ginger, Impervious, Whirlwind, shrug it off. Take an Impervious, a one-off high block. Pretty sweet. Let's upgrade True Grit. And go to the shop, 300 gold. Dead Branch, Apotheosis. 
I mean, dead branch corruption is amazing if you can get it. What else do we have that exhausts? True grit exhausts, impervious exhausts. It's, it's cheesy as all hell, but you know what? Screw it. If we find a corruption, we'll immediately take it now and we'll have dead branch corruption. <laughs> Uh, give me rage. No, give me uh, give me bash. We're gonna need the damage. Forty-two or bash? Probably forty-two. Now you're doing thirty damage. There you go. Take fifteen. I'm not gonna play True Grid. We can get enough block. This is gonna be a slow fight until we get our, our bludgeon to come back around. Unfortunately, we keep missing the timing with the bludgeon. We're not getting it after the bash. We're getting them both on the same turn. As a result, this fight is taking a lot longer than I would have liked. That's okay. Give me a block. I think we're gonna have to weather his big hit unless we get a bash on this turn, which we did. But even if we get a bludgeon, we're not gonna be able to kill him. Demon form. Well, that's an interesting one. I don't know if we can live against the uh, Hexaghost here. We're at burn plus already. Yep. Uh, I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna play the feed. We have to bash him. We have to bash him so that when we get bludgeoned, we can play it. And honestly, I'm not even going to play the pommel. Because if we draw through bludgeon, I, I don't think we can win. <laughs> we have to make sure we bludgeon with vulnerability. That was uh, way too close. Way, way, way too close of a fight. But at least we made it work. Sneko Eye. Yeah, we're going to take Sneko. Are we? Bludgeon, Bash, Fiend Fire? It's probably worth it. Screw it. Let's do it. Sneko, Dead Branch. And if we can find it, corruption. <laughs> yeah, this is, this, is, this is what I'm looking for. Nice, simple, classic Slay the Spire. Yeah, there you go. Hey, uh, three energy bludgeon, perfect. Well, it actually is perfect, though. It's 48 damage, so you know what? Screw you. All right. Battle Trance. Still a good card. If you um, get it even for one or two energy, it might be worth playing. We'll get the Bloody Idol, so we can heal. Let's get the extra strength on turn one. We got Winged Boots again. The more things change, the more they stay the same. We got a shop, which is not what we wanted at all. Is there anything expensive? No. So let's just remove some strikes. Save the rest of our cash. Now are we gonna fight elites? Hell yeah, why not? Come on, let's do it. Probably a bit of an overkill, but that's okay. Ooh, Dark Embrace. Warcry. Put a card on top of your draw pile. Sure, give me a Sever Soul. Which gave us Sentinel, which means we'll get energy. There's corruption. Um, and there's bloodletting. Okay, so there's bloodletting. There's corruption. There's shockwave. Sever souls, another kill. Warcry will put a sword boomerang on top. Get a flex. Sweet. And a free battle trance, too. Oh, we're so close to getting the feed. We, can we can we get it? 
42, 42-12-10? Why did it do 63 damage? I'm a little confused. Give me a flame barrier. We're gonna add all thick cards to this deck. That is what we're gonna do. Bum, bum, bum. Screw it, why not? I don't care, book of stabbing. Sure, stab me, I got flame barrier. Except it's the wrong turn for flame barrier. Screw you. Well, I mean, you just love the fiend fire. <laughs> but you could also play metallicize and rage, but you also just love the fiend fire. Intimidate. Intimidate. Exhaust all non-attack cards, gain five block for each. We had one? <laughs> I guess we only had one. Sixty-three damage. It's not quite a kill. Sixty-three and nine, also not quite a kill. But I think we gotta do that and hope that we draw something for free. Nope, that's fine. Took a little bit of damage, but now you're dead. Do we have a? Do, did we exhaust feed? We did. Okay. Well, you know what? Screw you. Duvudal. Pommel Strike to give you card draw is actually kind of nice with Sneko because you could draw things that cost zero. But I'm not going to take it. I'd rather just get cheaper cards at, or uh, more expensive cards added to the deck. Cards containing Strike deal more damage. Nope, we'll take the key on that one. Sure, we'll go fight another set of elites because why not? Whenever you draw a status or curse, deal six damage to all enemies. That's actually good with the wounds. But I hope we don't get that far into the into this fight. We got a lot of good stuff here. Bludgeon is a kill, but a bludgeon strike is a kill on you. But you make me vulnerable, so you have to go first. But Fiendfire is also very fun because it'll give just it'll give me just a complete new hand. But we got we got cards to play. I don't want to discard all of this stuff. Run popping off. Yeah, the run's popping off because of Dead Branch, Sneko, and expensive cards. <laughs> it's. M it's weirdly one of my least favorite types of runs because I feel like it's not because of me playing well, it's just because of blind luck. But you know what? That's fair. It happens sometimes. Can we feed on you? We can get mighty close. We might be able to draw back into feed. I guess we're just gonna take five damage. Actually, I think you're gonna die to drawing a wound. Yeah, because of fire breathing. Bottled flame, you know what? Give me a bottled flame. Probably fiend fire on turn one. Seeing red is always good. And then if we can upgrade this fiend fire, the turn one is just insanely good. All right, uh, I will take a shockwave. I will fight another elite, because why not? Hello. Um, you know, just give me some block and then uh, give me this and then murder everyone, or murder you rather. We need, um, we need that, oh, I want to play this. We need that one relic that does damage when you exhaust. Sharon's asses, a not asses, ashes. Sharon's ashes. You heard me. I'm gonna feed you. So that's pretty cool. 
I, I don't know where spot weakness came from, but there it is. Sure, we'll take uh, anything expensive. Honestly, we'll go fight this elite. Why not? Take the free energy and honestly, I, I think we should just play the bludgeon. Yeah, we got you, we know. Give me the energy. Um, you know. It's gonna do that and then take that next turn. Oh, we should have taken the feed next turn. I am dumb. We need a headbutt now. We need to go back into the deck. Should have played Impervious. We actually can get back into the deck now that we have Barricade. Okay, just don't kill him. Don't draw either. Just, um, just block. There you go. Come on, I wanna feed you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed, we should have headbutted. I'm gonna feed you. It's gonna happen. <laughs> there it is, at the bottom of the deck. Come on. There's our feed. I earned that four HP. Why were, why were you upgrade? Did I upgrade feed? That must have been uh, whetstone, wasn't it? Molten Egg, Distilled Chaos, sure, why not? We could take a Searing Blow, but it's not really what we're looking for. Dude, honestly, like, why not use another stack of Ween Boots and fight another Elite? Five healing, who cares? You're all dead anyways. I mean, I could play a free strike, but we exhaust one less card. Maybe we should have not done that. Um, uh, 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 hit you, hit you, sweet. All right, gain two energy exhaust, so that's just free. <laughs> well, I can't play them both, but I'll tell you what I can do. Kill you with a strike. Blue Candle, Emerald Key, Blessing of the Forge, and Trash. Well, that was a bit of a long floor, <laughs> but it worked pretty well. Let's upgrade that Fiend Fire, because on turn one it's gonna do uh, plus three damage, I think. Actually, um, we shouldn't do that. We should play something like Barricade. Yeah. We should um, play it when it comes back around. Okay, I'll just kill you. What a just lovely series of draw we have here. We have barricades, that's playable. Well, we pretty much can't ask for a better start than that. You know, it's gonna hit you. I'm <laughs> just gonna hit you hard. <laughs> and then, uh, you know what? Give me the block. In theory, we'll play a lot of a lot of uh, exhaust cards. And you know what? I'm glad I put the metallicize back on my deck because we got that one for free. Um, 15 damage, sure. Just keep playing anything that's block related. Sure, <laughs> pretty garbage turn. <laughs> I'll take it though. 
Should we give me a Juggernaut. True Grit to dump the strike. Bludgeon, Flame Barrier, Whirlwind. Ooh, perfect seeing red and an Inflame. Bludgeon. Bludgeon. He has one HP. Oh, wait, he's gonna take damage from Juggernaut. No! Feed! Feed! <laughs> Perfect. Perfect floor. Screw it, I'm gonna take another feed. Gain energy at the start of turn, you can no longer see enemy intents. Or empty cage to remove two strikes. I don't think we need energy. Nah, we need energy. Take Runic Dome. We know what he does. Hello, welcome, Twifty the Ace and Stefanix Dwarf to the stream. How you doing? No, the uh, stream time has not changed at all. I do not believe so. Dun, 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 dun. Do we get Donudeka? <gasps> we can feed on the donut. Okay. I would like to go to a shop. I would like to probably do this path of elites plus upgrading. Seems kind of sweet. Well, say goodbye to the feeds. <laughs> no, let's play one bludgeon. Then we'll play a fiend fire. Then we'll play a fiend fire. Then we'll play an offering. Then we'll play a cleave. There you go. Turn one kill. Shrug, Body Slam, Heavy Blade. Body Slam might work with the Barricade, but it's not what we're looking for. And heavy Blade, after turn one, we don't have any strength, so I'm not gonna take him. I will add three colorless cards. I will take a Mayhem. Panacea is still very good, but I don't think we need it. Mind Blast is gonna have a random cost. I don't think we need it. And uh, Secret Weapon and Patience are also gonna be random. So, let's skip those. We took one card, but it's a good card. It's a good card. You can take my Defend. We just keep gaining five HP every every room. <laughs> so there, that's the medical kit. Wait, that was the wrong run. That was last run, wasn't it? Yeah, we had uh, Immolate then. So that's a medical kit. We can play status cards, which means we exhaust them, which means we get a card. I kind of like it. We could also take Champion Belt. Um, dual Wield is also interesting if we get a cheap card. I like Dual Wield. I like Medical Kit. I also like Enlighten. So we'll take those and purge a strike. Lose rage, 104 gold, or distilled chaos. I don't want I don't want to lose my gold. Take rage. And we got question card. Eh, something. What should we do? Should we upgrade? Could upgrade dual wield? But uh, yeah, let's do that. It's like it's a very similar path up here. Upgrade dual wield. So if we play dual wield on a cheap card, we get three copies of it. We'll fight an elite. It is Reptomancer, which is scary as heck, but we'll see what happens. True grit the anything that we're not going to play. See what we get. See what we get. You know what? I kind of like a whirlwind. I know we could play a fiend fire, but you know what? Can we play this for three? Yes. Play a battle trance first. All right. It's not the the turn one amazing play of of you know blowing this guy up, but it's still a pretty good play. And then this is perfect. Enlighten makes these cards cheap. You can dual wield bludgeon to get three copies of it. It's free, so then we can bludgeon, bludgeon. 42 plus 12, 54 damage. Can't quite kill you, so we'll kill you. Barricade, impervious. Sword boomerang, still can't kill you. 
Although maybe we could have if we played Impervious first. 42... 12. There you go. Sharon's Ashes! There you go! <laughs> Beautiful. We'll take a seeing red. We'll recall. Oh, oh boy! Shovel! Screw you, shovel, you piece of garbage. Let's fight the elite. Shockwave. Battle Trance. <laughs> oh, baby. And Lighten. We can play Mayhem. Oh, you know what? Screw that. Mayhem. 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 Impervious. Fiendfire. You're half dead. I get three free cards every turn. There you go. That's what you're looking for out of that dual wield. Metallicize, defend, seeing red. By the way, there's a seeing red. By the way, there's a barricade. By the way, there's a defend. I have infinite energy. Don't quite have the energy to kill you though. You know what? It'll it'll come back around. It'll come back around. This run is dumb, says Mighty Odin. <laughs> yeah, but it's like the perfect type of dumb. We got free enlightenment, which means everything in our hand is free. So good. Where did I get that rage from? I don't remember having that in my deck. Um, give me a feed. Give me another feed. Energy potion. I like what we have. I will definitely take a free shockwave. It's not really free, but I'll take it anyways. Are we gonna upgrade anything? No. <laughs> there's, there's, I mean, shockwave maybe, but everything else is actually upgraded enough. So, um, I don't know, fight another elite, I guess? It's the nemesis, hello? Hello, Nemesi. You know what? Screw you. Hmm. Now the question is, what are you gonna do? Because I don't know what you're gonna do. Costs one Abe like it's free. Well, it's as good as free, but also the enlightenment was free because we got it on the mayhem draw. You know, honestly, get the mayhem out and then just get the block. Not my feed. <laughs> Why I needed that card. Oh, we got another one coming up. Can I get you down to one HP? Probably not. Can I draw? Probably not. Like, just draw something. Okay, I actually kind of needed that bludgeon. Nope. Um, you're almost down to one HP, though. If I exhaust one card and then hit you next turn, like, we gotcha. Do I have anything to exhaust? Feed will exhaust. Will it count? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Can I kill you? <laughs> <laughs> this will exhaust. You only took one damage from the exhaust. I see the problem now. So we have to... <laughs> it's not gonna work! It didn't work! Whatever, you're dead. Um, give me max HP. Sure, I'll kill you. Um, uh, uh, shockwave, fiendfire. 
Oh, although we got feed in hand. Can we get feed to work? Probably not. You know what? Screw you. Regen potion. I don't think we need it. I will take a disarm though. That is very good against the heart. And I guess we're going to be fighting the heart because why not? Enlightenment will make everything free, but it's not worth it. Goodbye. Oh, we should have played Battle Trance. No. Give me my Battle Trance back. <sighs> exhaust one card to draw two cards. Please exhaust Wild Strike. Should have exhausted Anger. Anger sucks. Oh, I wanted the man. I'll play Brutality, though. We lose one HP, but we get an extra card. Why not? Ah, this turn sucks. I guess we'll Shockwave and then... I don't know. Defend, defend, strike. <laughs> sometimes you have bombastic turns, sometimes uh, you can't play any cards. Infernal Blade, what do we get? Body Slam. Well, we'll get some block on this turn. One hundred and thirteen damage. That's a pretty good attack. Two. You know what? We can play the wound. We can play it directly. Thirty-five, twenty-three. We're not quite there yet. Thirty-seven, twelve, twenty-five, twenty-five, thirty-seven. Tw we're, we're there. I think we're there. Forty, twenty-seven, twenty-seven. Forty plus fifty-four, ninety-four. That's not even including the slow. Yeah, we got a lot of HP. Just saying, we kind of have a lot of HP. Anyway, screw you. Just a simple 100 damage. Can I put up any blocks? Not really. Um, all right, that's fine. I'll just, uh, I don't know. Juggernaut. Headbutt, nothing back. We'll take a little bit of damage here. Eight, it's not that bad. Twenty two. Twelve. Exhaust. Six. Feet. Block potion. I like the potions. I don't want any potions. Give me the feed. And you know what? Sure, give me the dig. <laughs> Akabibo, your first attack deals eight damage. You know what? Our first attack is Fiend Fire. So that seems like it's actually a pretty good call. Or Whirlwind, for that matter. But like this gives us more cards, so I think we'll just go uh, go here. It does get rid of a feed, though. We need to be slightly careful. Now on turn one, which one attacks? Oh lord, I don't remember. Um, you attack? Correct. <laughs> Rampage. We're gonna get him down, and we're gonna feed on him. Do we have a feed? No, we will get a feed next turn. This turn, what do we want instead? Give me a shockwave. Purges all your negatives. Seeing red just costs me energy on this turn. Give me an impervious. Give me a, a. Could take a barricade. Could take a demon form. Give me a demon form. You know what we need in this deck? A reaper. That'd be. That would. That would really hit the spot right about now. Seventy damage. It's perfect. It's got eleven HP. We'll disarm Decca. 
Yo, don't die. <laughs> Lose 3 HP, gain 2 energy. That's not, like, not even worth it. End turn. We're gonna take a hit, but we gotta feed in our draw pile. There it is. Donu is finished. Achievement unlocked. Ooh, donut. And uh, then give me a seeing red. Mayhem. Battle trance, see if we can draw into some blocks or something. Are you attacking? Nope. Well, good to know. I should have played the cleave too. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Finally, we got it. Fire breathing. Dark embrace. Uh, let's play the day so we can shuffle it on this turn. Get a double tap. I will. Double tap. Heavy Blade. I will play... We're not killing you. So we'll block and turn. HP still matters, I think, because we're not gonna... We're not gonna have a perfect amount of HP. Leaving the floor. Um, do we have another feed? No, we got rid of it. Yeah, we exhausted it on turn one. Play this. Play this. Hit you. Play this. Play this. You're dead. Alright. Donu and Dekka killed finally. <laughs> Actually, it turned out to be a pretty, a pretty quick run after the couple of false starts that we had. Give me a lift. Gremlin Horn. It's exactly going to be worth one energy and one card draw. Beautiful. Mummified Hand. Very good. Feel no pain. Very good. I'll take both of those. And then we'll take nothing. Proceed. Hello. Hello, fine gentlemen. How are you doing today? Oh, this is such a good one. Shockwave. Disarm. Impervious. Demon form. 31 times five. I could kill you, or I could kill you. You're already disarmed, let's kill you. All right, that's a lot of good stuff. We'll play the spot weakness, evolve, because I think you add burns to my draw pile. Maybe that only starts on like Ascension 18 or something. Yeah, that must start later in the run. Oh, I like it. Give me a limit break. Or we can enlighten, dual wield the feed, and play lots of them. Not enough to get a kill, though. But if we limit break dual wield feed, we probably will. Limit break. Dual wield feed. No, I can't! It, it went away! Excuse me, rude. I really wanted that feed on this turn. Whatever, you're doing like next to no damage anyways. 81. Almost screwed it up. There's our feed. Heart of Iron, six metallicize. That's pretty good, but you know what's better? All the cards we already have. Give me a Dark Embrace. All oh, the, uh, all the potions we already have. We'll uh, drink strength. If we pop ancient potion, we're gonna keep strength and we're gonna get vulnerable. Whatever, there's nothing we can do about it. Let's play it at the end of turn. Give me a metallicize. Uh, we can't actually dark embrace fiendfire, which is not amazing, because I would love to be able to dark embrace fiendfire. We can wait for fiendfire. Let's get dark embrace out. We'll play the Ancient Potion, you might as well. Well, Enlightenment saves us a lot of energy, so we'll do Feel No Pain. No, we're gonna, we're gonna dual wield Feel the Pain. So let's start with the Enlightenment. We have to dump a couple of cards from our hand. 
Although it's really hard to do that because we draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll still do it. We'll only get two though. No, we'll get all three. Good. So feel no pain. Feel no pain. Feel no pain. Seeing red. We get nine block by exhausting a card now. Also, we get evolve so we can get through these faster, but we're gonna play all these anyways. We don't really need evolve. Play flame barrier. Play a strike. We'll play a feed. I think we'll just play Fiend Fire. Like, why not just dump all these? We're gonna have an infinite amount of block. Hopefully we get, hopefully we get, um, we got Corruption and we can play it. I was gonna say, hopefully we get uh, Barricade soon. We will probably get to Barricade. Cause there's Corruption. We finally found Corruption. It took a, it took a while to show up, but we finally got Corruption. Gain two vulnerable, at the start of your turn, gain energy. You know, that's not bad. You know what would be better though? Freaking barricade? Which it looks like we're not gonna get. So you know what, if we're not getting a barricade, let's end turn. Oh look, barricade. I found it. We shockwave. Give me a burn. Draw into dual wield, please. No, okay, thank you very much. Give me a defend. No, all right, let's try again later. Get that out of here. I don't know, do we need evolve? We don't add anything to our deck. Draw a dual wield? Nope. I just want dual wield, that's the only card I want. We have barricade, we can play impervious. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. I don't even know if that does anything for us. Well, the bludgeon was slightly cheaper, at least. Play an impervious. Play a limit break. Play a... Uh, we don't have to play demon form. We could play a sever soul instead. I would like to play mayhem. And then we'll play a sever soul. Spot weakness. <laughs> Exhaust one card, draw two. Get rid of a immolate. Sure, give me another shockwave. Give me a bloodletting. We gain a little bit more strength. We could pummel you if we really wanted to. Um, how about dump the battle trances finally? Rupture. Sure, why not? Give me an entrench. Got a lot of block. Havoc? What is it gonna play? A single defend. You know what? That's good enough. Infernal Blade. What are you gonna give me? Blood for blood? Sorry, can't do. Add a wound to my draw pile. Who cares? Play the bludgeon. Play the bludgeon. Give me another demon form. Play the cleave. End turn. All right. We have 380 block. <laughs> Choose a card to duplicate. Yes. No, we'll... Yes! Anyways, you're dead. We also gained 81 block, I think, for doing that, so that was pretty good. Well, it ended up being a pretty good run. I I wish it didn't take like four attempts, but you know what? That's the warm-up run. That's the the hot we've that's the high end of getting carried. We've seen the low end of getting carried. Now we just need to get into the middle a little bit. We need to let our own skill get us where we need to go. Either way, fun run. Where's my run history? There it is. We've done it! Ascension 5 victory, let's go!